What is up, beautiful people? It's your girl, Cam, and I am back with another video. Today, I'm coming at you with my December daily journal planner, and I am going to be setting up my daily pages. All right, y'all. So thank you so much for um, coming to my channel. Welcome or welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Cam. This is Piece of the Plans, and I do hope you find something that inspires you. Uh, if you do, don't forget to click that like button, the subscribe button, and don't forget to click the notification bell as well. So you'll be notified every time I post new content for you right here on this channel. So I have been using a um, A5 Archer and Olive journal. Um, as my December daily and in this December daily I am keeping all of my notes um, journal entries and planner spreads for the month of December so I have done an after the pen flip through which um, hopefully should have gone up a day or two ago um, if you didn't get a chance to see it I will link it in the card up above so you can take a look at that if you missed it but for today I am going to skip right over to my daily pages and go ahead and get those set up so I'm really trying to be very um, organic with this journal because I just want it to kind of be a free-flowing um, document for lack of a better um, term so this week in my daily pages i'm going to use this beautiful christmas sticker book from anika's creative closet and i'm going to use these blue stickers here and i am super excited about it and because i'm setting up for an entire week i'm pretty much sure we're going to use all of these so I'm gonna go ahead and rip these out. And this did come with two dolls, but I wanted to add a doll for each day. So I went to my good old friend Pinterest and I found some more dolls that I'm gonna use in this spread as well. So this is not a doll, but this is an image of um, the nativity, which is in blue, so I'm gonna use that. And I'm gonna use this girl, and this one, and this one, and her, and her. So we're gonna add all of these in here for the week. And what I wanted to do was create a waterfall um, set up for this week. So. Let me go over to the end of this week. And this will be my last page in the waterfall. So I wanna go, I don't wanna go too far over. So I think I'll just cut one line in. Normally I do two lines. I'm working on this dot grid journal. And so I'm able to just count the dots over and that tells me where I need to continue. But since I have so many pages, I am not gonna go two lines over, I'm just gonna do one. I normally would do two on each page. But this time I'm just gonna do one. So this is a huge waterfall, huge, huge, huge. Okay, so what I think I wanna do is, I think I wanna look in this floral sticker book from um, Live Love Posh and see if I see any flowers. 
think I'm gonna go with these. I think I'm gonna go with these. And I think I'm gonna alternate the flowers down the side and the washi down the side. So I think I wanna start with the washi tape. I think I'm gonna start with this blue um, Christmas ornament, not Christmas ornament, Christmas lights, Christmas lights washi. Okay, now that I've got all my waterfall pages created and all of my corners rounded, now I want to start setting up my daily um, pages. So I'm going to use any combination of these um, washi tapes that I'm just feeling at the time. And I just want everything to be kind of organic and just kind of roll with it type of vibe. I will probably put a full box on each page. Um, looking to see if I have any blue that will match. This blue is good, so I can use that. But I kind of need some bigger boxes. Let me see what I have. Okay, yeah, that'll work. Okay, good. We got some big boxes. We've got some big boxes. And where I can't use blue, then I will opt for gray. But I want to use this blue right here. Okay, so I'm going to go in. I keep marking this page. Okay, so I want to go in with my first blue box. And... I'll go in with this set of ornaments. Let me move this down. Let's just come down a little bit. And then I'll add the blue Christmas ornaments up at the top of this page. I think I will add one of these Anika's Creative Closet Dolls right here. And I think I'll put a corner flower down here at the bottom. And then add some of this deco. Uh, 
I think I'll do this one. washi tape right here and I think that's going to do it for me for the first day all I have to do is come in and add the day of the week and the date number and I'll probably put it over here and I can put my prayer here my scripture here and then my thoughts for the day over here All right, y'all, I've got all of my daily pages set up and ready to go. So let's go ahead and do a flip through. And one of the things that I just want to point out is that I am trying in this journaling era, era to not overthink 
things and just kind of be very organic with it. And for me, that means kind of putting spreads together quickly and not thinking about it too much. Just I have the supplies together. Just go ahead and put the pages together and let it let it breathe. <laughs> so. So all of these spreads are going to have lots of writing on them. Just like my previous spreads for this week, they're going to be full of writing by the time I'm done. So I'm leaving lots of open space for my prayer, my scripture, and my thoughts for the day. Okay, so this is going to be Monday. This is Tuesday. Oh, I love how Tuesday looks. It's so pretty. This is Wednesday. Thursday. I love that too. I like that they're side by side. <laughs> I like that they're side by side. This is going to be Friday. And then we have an award ceremony to go to Friday night for my husband. He's being honored um, in our city where we live for his work with the homeless community and with the youth in our community. So we're going to an award ceremony for him Friday. So I'll put information and some pictures here for that. And then this will be Saturday. I love this page also. And this will be Sunday. And I didn't include the sermon notes in the waterfall because the sermon notes are kind of their own little section. So this is going to be the sermon notes page. And I mean, I put these pages together super quick. I put these pages together super quick. I didn't think about it too much. And I love how they turned out. I love how they turned out. And I'm going to add my um, handwriting to it. And I'll use some um, mild liner to make some bold points and some bold statements. And yeah, this is going to do it for me for my weekly um, daily pages. And I thank you so much for joining me for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, I hope you'll take a moment and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to click the notification bell as well. So you'll be notified every time I post new content for you right here on this channel. I hope that you are having a great week. Uh, I hope that you are uh, trying out some new journals and new planners and um, really just stretching your own creativity. It's so much fun to try something new. Uh, so thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a great week. I hope it's full of love, joy, and most of all, peace. See you next time.